We are also tracking the latest rates of COVID cases. We haven't had a surge in our area recently, but case counts aren't falling much either. Dan Kennedy joins us with a closer look at those numbers. Very much in a bit of a holding pattern when it comes to COVID in Virginia, really for the entire month of March. Now three plus weeks into it, things have played have stayed relatively flat in terms of new cases statewide, looking at more than 1200 new cases today, which is the most in the past three days, but pretty consistent with that two week moving average. Taking a look at the positivity rate statewide, a Pretty good number, relatively speaking, five and a half percent or so tests coming back positive. Unfortunately, every Hampton Roads Health District still higher than that. You know, check this out. Chesapeake, Portsmouth, about 10% of tests coming back positive in those health districts. But Hampton today shot up to 14% of tests there coming back positive. Uh, that is up a couple percentage points from just a few days ago. Meanwhile, Norfolk Peninsula, Eastern Shore, Virginia Beach, Western Tidewater Health Districts, all uh, lower than 9% uh, of tests coming back positive. This is Hampton uh, and their chart showing new cases today. 46 new infections added and cases on the rise once again in Hampton, Virginia Beach cases slightly ticking up, though today it was back below average with just 61 new cases to tell you about. So we're going to keep a close eye as we always do and have been for the past year on how these cases look for the rest of the week. In the studio, Dan Kennedy, 13 News Now. And for a look at those uh, case new case numbers for all of our local cities and counties, you can go to 13newsnow.com and click on the coronavirus tab at the top of the page. There you can look for the story COVID-19 live updates.